uh, equality of matrix, addition of matrix, uh, multiplication of matrix, multiplication by scalar, uh, inverse matrix. Now to hang on in America, simultaneous script to the basso, simultaneous equation. I shall get on to our lesson 2.34 uh, a simultaneous equation. Simultaneous equations using uh, matrix and Kramer's rule. Now, learning outcomes, by the end of the lesson, learners should be able to define simultaneous equations, solve simultaneous equations by matrix, uh, solve by also uh, Kramer's rule. Uh, introduction to the previous lesson, uh, we are given P is equal to 2 minus 1, 4, 3. Then Q uh, is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2, 5. Then the question is, find the inverse of R. So R is equal to PQ. So PQ, we multiply P and Q together. We have 2 minus 1, 4, 3. And then bracket 1 minus 2 minus 2, 5. The order is 2 by 2. The order is also 2 by 2. The column of the first is the same as the row of the second. So we multiply these two together. We get that is 2 plus 2, you have 4 there. Uh, this one will be minus 4, and uh, this is plus 5, no, minus 5, I mean. Minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9. That is minus 4 minus 5 is minus 9. That is plus 4 minus 6 is minus 2. That is minus 8 plus 15 is positive 7. So to find the inverse of R, we must get the determinant of R. So R will be equal to uh, the determinant of R. So this is equal to R. So R will be equal to the determinant is the product of the leading diagonal. That is 4 times 7. Bracket, bracket, minus, uh, minus 2 multiplied by minus 9. And uh, we get 28 minus 18. You get positive 10. Positive 10. So therefore, the reciprocal of the the reciprocal of the determinant, the inverse r will be equal to the reciprocal of the determinant into bracket, uh, interchanging the element in the main diagonal. That will be three, and then you reverse uh, that you reverse element in the second diagonal. So that will be plus two, and then minus nine becomes plus nine. Then that becomes four. So we multiply all these numbers. Uh, by 10, you get the first one as 7 out of 10. The next one is 9 out of 10. The next one is 2 out of 10. And then finally, we have 4 out of 10. And then you can still simplify. You can simplify uh, this one. So that is the introduction to our previous uh, lesson. Now in today's lesson, Uh, you're told use matrix method to, method to solve uh, uh, the following simultaneous equation. A, yeah, 3x plus y is equal to 7, and 5x plus 2y is equal to uh, 12. So what we do is we use a matrix. We start by coefficient variable and then constant coefficients variable and constant we have three one five two these are the coefficients three five one two and then you have x y and then this will be equal to the constant seven and twelve so st you first find the determinant determinant will be equal to six and then five 6 minus 5, you get 1. So the variable x, y will be equal to inverse multiplied by 
constant. Inverse multiplied by constant, then you get the inverse, the reciprocal of the determinant, that is step number one. Step two, you interchange elements in the main diagonal, we have two, uh, you reverse the sign, you get minus one, then minus five, then three, therefore there you have seven and twelve. So we multiply these two together, that will be plus 14 minus 12, you get 2, and uh, times 1, get 2, minus 35 plus 36 is positive 1. So x, y, x is equal to 2, and uh, y is equal to 1. So that is using matrix, using matrix method. The same question, I'll be using Kramer's rule for the second one, that will be 3x plus y is equal to 7, and 5x plus 2y is equal to 20. So the same way, that will be coefficient, variable, and then constant. We have 3, 5, 1, 2, and then x, y, 720. Uh, DO, that is determinant original, will be 6 minus 5, you get 1. DX, D sub X, you remove the X, this 3, 3 and 5, and then you substitute uh, 7 and 12 there. We have 1, 2. Therefore, this will be 14, and then minus 12, you get positive 2. D sub Y, you remove the, these ones, the coefficients of y's, and then you substitute. You have 3, and then 15, I mean 5, I'm sorry, 7 and 20. So the determinant, this will be 36, and then minus 35, you get 1. So for the value of x will be equal to d sub x divided by d sub o. You have uh, x is 2, 2 divided by 1, you get 2. And then y will be equal to d sub y, divide by d, you get 1 divided by 1, which is equal to 1. So that is also by, uh, by Kramer's rule. So this one is Kramer's. We are using Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule. The next example, The next example is 2x plus 4y equal to 6, 3x plus 6y equal to 5. Still coefficient, variable, and then constant. And then we have 2, 3, 4, 5, no 6. This is xy equals to 6 and 5. So the determinant will be equal to, determinant for the first one, you get uh, 2 multiplied by 6, and then 3 multiplied by 4, you get 12 minus 12, you get 0. So this one, there will be no solution, because there is no inverse. This is no inverse, no inverse, since the determinant is 0. The determinant the determinant is zero. The determinant is zero. There will be no solution because the two lines will be parallel. The two lines will be parallel. They will never intersect. They will never intersect. So therefore, this song, there will be no solution. No solution. No solution. No solution. The last example for that part is we have 1 over 2, C plus 1 over 3D is equal to 24, and 1 over 2C plus 1 over 4D is equal to minus 6. So step number 1, I will be using by matrix. This is a half, start with the coefficient, then variable, then constant, halves, 1 over 3, 1 over 2, 
on all the four, we have uh, x no cd, that is our variable, and then the constant is 24 and minus 6. So step one is to get the determinant. The determinant will be, when you multiply these two, you get 1 over 8. You multiply these two, you get 1 over 6. Then you look for the LCM of these two, you have 24. You divide, you get 3. You divide, you get 4. And then you get minus 1 over 4. And then the determinant is that one. 1, one over 24, I'm sorry. 1 over 24. So uh, CD, which is the variable, is equal to the reciprocal of the determinant. You get minus 24. And then a uh, bracket. The inverse, you interchange these two. You have 1 over 4 there. You reverse the sign, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, negative, and then 1 over 2 there. And then you will multiply by the constant, which is 24 and minus 6. So this will be equal to, we multiply these two, you get plus 6. You multiply these two, you get plus 2. There you have positive 8. So minus 24, bracket, positive 8. There you have minus 12. There you have minus 3. Minus 12 of minus 3 is minus 15. So 28, 24 multiplied by 8, you get 2 carry 3 minus 192. Minus 192, that is for C. And for D, you get 24 multiplied by 15, you get uh, 4, 2, 0 carry 2, that will be 12, you get 360. Negative, uh, positive 360. So the value of C is minus 192. The value of D is plus 360. That is for matrix by matrix. You can still use that one for also uh, finding Kramer's rule. Kramer's rule. Then the next one, what problems involving simultaneous equation? The difference between two numbers is seven. The difference between two numbers, let, let the numbers be x and y, the numbers be x and y, the difference between two numbers is 7, 2 times the smaller number added to, to the larger number. So let's say this is the larger number, and this one becomes the smaller number. Uh, so the difference between the first one, x minus y is equal to 7. And uh, two times the smaller number, two times the smaller number added to the larger number is equal to 22. So you rearrange this one in order. You say x minus y is equal to 7, and then x plus 2y is equal to 2, 2. And therefore, what you do is you can use a by matrix. So the variables, the coefficients will be coefficients, variable, and then constant, 1, 1, and then minus 1, 2, we have x and y, then the constant we have 7 and 2, 2. So this will be equal to, the determinant will be equal to, that is 2, minus, minus becomes plus, you get plus 3 there. So therefore, x, comma, x y will be equal to the reciprocal of the determinant, which is 1 over 3, into bracket. We interchange the element, this one you get 2. This is plus 1, this is minus 1, this is also 1. And then the constant, we have 7 and 2, 2. Therefore, what you do is you multiply. This one is 2 by 2, this is 2 by 1, the answer will be 2 by 1. 14 plus 12, you get 36. 1 over 3, 36. That is minus 7. Minus 7 plus 2, 2, you get positive 15. Therefore, this will be equal to, you divide, you get 12. You divide, you get 5. So the value of x is 12, and the value of y is equal to 5. The value of y is equal to 5. So the last question, the last question for simultaneous equations is, you are told uh, a fraction becomes 10 over 7 if 2 is added to, the, to both the numerator and the denominator. So let, let the fraction be let the fraction be x over y. So 2 is added to both the numerator and the denominator, meaning this will be x plus 2, 
and then y plus 2 is equal to 10 divided by 7. So what you do is you cross multiply these two. Now before that, if however 3 is subtracted from both the numerator and the denominator, the fraction becomes uh, the fraction becomes 5 over 2. So therefore, x minus 3, y minus 3, this one is also equal to 5 divided by 2. Now for the first one, we cross multiply, you get uh, 7x uh, plus 14 is equal to uh, 10y uh, plus 20. So you transfer this to this side, you get 7x minus 10y is equal to positive 6. That would be equation number 1. For this one, this is 2x minus uh, 6 is equal to 5y minus 15. You get 2x minus 5y will be equal to transfer, you get 9. So therefore, we'll be working out these two, 7x minus 10y is equal to positive 6, and 2x minus uh, 5y is equal to positive 9. <coughs> no, minus 9. This is minus 9. Minus 9. So the coefficients will be coefficients, variable, and, and constant. So this will be equal to 7, 2. Uh, minus 10, minus 10, minus 5. The variables are x and y, and the constant are 6 and the negative 9. 6 and the negative 9. Six and negative nine. So start with the determinant. The determinant will be equal to uh, you multiply, you get minus thirty-five. Minus, you multiply these two, you get plus. Uh, you get minus twenty there. So therefore, we have uh, minus thirty-five minus thirty-five plus twenty. You get minus fifteen. So x comma y will be equal to the reciprocal of the determinant, which is minus 1 out of 15, into bracket. Uh, interchange these two, you get minus 5. This is minus 2. This is plus 10. And this is positive 7. And then we have 6 and negative 9 there. So that will be minus 30. This is minus 30, and this is minus 90. We get minus 90 minus 30 minus 90, you get minus 120. Minus 120. And the next one is minus 12, of, minus 12, of, minus 12, of, minus 63, you get minus 75. So there you have uh, one minus one out of 15. So you, you divide by 15, one by 15, you get positive eight. By this, you divide, you get 5. So therefore, this is x comma y. The fraction, therefore, x over y will be equal to 8 divided by 5. And that is now the end of that example. Okay, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea.